By now we all know that managing your app store presence and optimizing your app for search can be one of the most powerful strategies in your app marketing to get new organic users. But then the question is, how do you actually do ASO? How do you do app store optimization and do you need any kind of tools? And if so, what kind of tools? This is why in this video we're going to take a look at AppRadar. Um, it's unique because it helps you on the one side to not only um, help you uh, optimize your keywords and analyze your current keyword rankings, but it helps you to optimize your whole um, App Store publishing process. They state they make it 95% more effective. So essentially, they want to help you get rid of Google Play Con uh, Console and iTunes Connect. And they also state that their unique AI will help you to get rid of your ASO templates. So we're gonna jump right in and see if they keep up their promises. So here we are in the first screen of AppRadar. In this screen, you can choose the platform your app is situated in. So the Apple App Store, the Google Play Store, or even the tvOS App Store. And now we come to a key feature of AppRadar because as you can see, the second step is to link your account. And in order to do so, we have to link our App Store Connect account, meaning we have to put in our um, credentials and um, then basically these two tools are communicating to each other. The purpose of it is so that you get insights into the ASO score and that you can publish all your metadata and localizations right from within the tool to iTunes Connect and also get insights into the app analytics like downloads, impressions, your conversion rate, click-through rate and things like that. But yeah, of course, you can also skip this step, but I really recommend you in order to unlock the full feature set to put in your um, iTunes account credentials. Next up, you can choose an app that is associated with your developer ID, uh, with a iTunes Connect account we connected um, before. And if you don't want to use an app that you have connected, you can also go here to the search bar and then search for any app and also put in the country that you want to analyze the app for and then go for search. And then we see, okay, we get a list of um, apps and then by clicking uh, the plus button and then also saying, okay, let's finish the setup. We uh, start the analyzing process and uh, get started. Since I have connected my iTunes Connect account, um, I can now just choose an app. And I want to point out one thing um, that we see right away, uh, that AppRadar separates its features between analyze and optimize. So you have different features that help you to bring each of those values um, in a way to your app. So in the analyze uh, tab, you can analyze your keyword rankings, analyze keywords by the keyword explorer, analyze your competitors, um, your current uh, top charts and app metrics. And in the optimize area, you can op get your optimization score and identify opportunities for your localizations, quickly edit your metadata on the fly, and of course, see what kind of changes you have committed and what kind of impact they had. Let's jump into what AppRadar provides us in this screen. This is the keyword ranking screen. And the main purpose of this screen is to show you, okay, where are my keywords at the moment based on the ranking? And here you can see you get um, already keywords and I didn't implement them um, myself. This was AppRadar's AI analyzing my app and finding keywords which are related to my app. And so you can see uh, we get different kind of metrics for each keyword. Uh, we have different kind of options and we have a chart that shows us um, the history of our keyword. We can also choose do we want from yesterday or this year um, the data from and also the country. Um, besides that, uh, that we already get keywords, um, we also get something like the keyword suggestion uh, tool, which 
you now can't see since we are in a trial, but it gives you a list of keywords um, that basically uh, you can add on the fly. And um, below that you can either as a list like that or like it works either way, you can just add new keywords. Um, that makes it really easy. So let's go into this particular screen. On the right side, you have suggested keywords. The problem I have with this um, is I don't get any data. Like, I don't know if these are from the suggested search terms in the Apple App Store. I don't know at which position they are in the suggested search terms. I don't know if it's a competitor keyword. There are a couple of data that I'm simply missing to make decisions on the suggested keywords. A recent feature that AppRadar released is the Keyword Explorer. It gives you an idea based on the knowledge that AppRadar collected what kind of keywords apps are ranking for. So all the keywords they indexed in their tool um, are being matched with your app. So what your app is about. So it, if it's a related keyword, you will find it in this area. Uh, and on the right side, you can see, okay, that's quite a long list. It can be a very handy tool for you to get new ideas, new twists, new ideas for keywords that you might have missed. And this can really be a new uh, great way to um, integrate in your keyword research process. But besides all those features of the keyword rankings, you have many more uh, options in the analyze field. So for example, app metrics. App metrics helps you to see um, the metrics coming from iTunes Connect, seeing them right in your AppRadar account. What does that help you with? So you have impressions, you have store views, you have downloads and you have sales. So it essentially shows you these are your ASO KPIs that you, ha you have to consider in order to optimize your keyword result driven. And of course also your conversion assets. Um, because what it helps you with is to get a feeling what kind of metric is lacking behind. So uh, one example uh, could be that you're taking a look at your impressions and you see that your conversion rate from impressions to store views is very low. In comparison to that, you see that your store views to downloads is relatively high. And then you know, okay, we have a problem with our search, uh, search result page that we are not converting enough people from impression to, to store views. Here you can say, okay, in which kind of um, time period do you want to compare your data? And based on that, you have a better idea what you can work on in your ASO. Another feature that really provides value, um, and is one of those features you didn't know that you are missing it, is the competitor inspector. What it helps you with is you get a list of your competitors and of course you can always add new competitors and then you can select them and then click compare those competitors and then you end up with a list that gives you an overview in which particular ranking your competitors are situated in. So for example, in meditation, we get an overview, okay, this is our keyword ranking, and this is their keyword ranking. And if you have a lot of keywords implemented in your keyword rankings tab, then you get a high overview where your competitors are in comparison to you in your ASO efforts. One thing that I am missing though, which is for me like, very important to um, analyze my, com my competitors is what other ASO tools are calling um, keyword spy. Because what it does is it helps you to get a better overview what kind of keywords your competitors are targeting. So what kind of keywords are in their keyword field if we say Apple App Store or what kind of keyword um, focus do they have in their metadata on Google Play. So this is what I'm just missing. Um, besides that, the competitor inspector is a great tool. Now we come to a feature that is like the second step of the value proposition of AppRadar. The first step is everything about analysis. And then the second step is everything about optimization so that you can write 
in the tool optimize all the assets. Let's see if that works. What I like about this one is it helps you to see what you're doing and what you're not doing on a holistic view. So if you aren't published in Italian or in Italy uh, whatsoever, you get a low score and then you get an idea, okay, when I'm just starting, it's just a better indicator to see where is your bottleneck, where can you get your low hanging fruits in your ASO to get results. Let's say you have multiple localizations for your app. So what we could do is just use AppRadar to optimize our name or subtitle, name meaning title, um, and then also our keyword field. Then also the description, um, promotional text, release note, even links. So it helps you to really publish all kind of localizations right from this tool. With a click of one button, you can just push it to App Store Connect. We have just switched to the, to the Google Play Store uh, store entry, and this is the description. And what is very important with ASO um, in optimizing your description is your keyword density. And I don't see anything of that in the tool right away. So I can't just say, okay, I optimize for one keyword, um, and then I just put it in here and then um, they give me, give me an indicator. This is the keyword density. You're good, doing a good job. Uh, you're mentioning this keyword, this and that often. That's just not the case. So at this point, I have to get back to my template and then basically do um, fill in my keywords on my own uh, in a separate template. So this is one side of the of the ASO um, process where I have to um, unfortunately return to my template um, and can't really use that ASO tool. Another feature worth mentioning is the quick editor. It helps you to get a holistic view about your App Store optimization metadata all in one window. Meaning here we see name, then we can click on it and then we see a list of all our relevant fields and um, potentially metadata that we can manipulate and optimize. Okay, this is your name. And this is your name in multiple languages. And then what you can do, we could then create a new version and just click in here, say, okay, instead of that keyword being in our name, we want to change it to another one. On, one, on the one side, the localizations window already has these features um, included. But what I like about it is that you get a, a global view of your App Store optimization metadata. And it makes it really quick for you to get a feeling, okay, what kind of keywords am I um, having included? Just as a small uh, thing, um, what I would like to have is an overview, okay, where am I ranking for that keyword that I have in my title at the moment? So when I'm here taking a look at my name and seeing I have this keyword included, I also want to see what kind of ranking is it. So then I have the connection that, well, I'm not in the top 10, I should have another keyword in my name. And this is a good transition to talk about the change log. What the change log does is it helps you to see, okay, I made these changes. So, and this is when it happened. But you don't get any idea of what kind of changes and what kind of impact did it have on my metrics. So at the end, um, I still have to have a different template. Um, in my case, what I'm using is I am using an ASO experiment backlog where I'm like having the experiment I want to run I type in what kind of metric it will change. I type, type in the hypothesis, what I expect to happen. Um, when it starts to run, then I let it run. Then I compare it basically with the outcome. And then um, if my hypothesis was validated or if I found, okay, my hypothesis was wrong, I type in why. And then based on that, I, I learn what works for ASO and what doesn't. And this is kind of what is missing in this tool at the moment. Since AppRadar is pushing to App Store Connect or to Google Play Console, 
and uh, when you're doing something in the Google Play Console, it's pushing back to App Raider. You have something like import export in the settings menu. So if there's some, uh, something happening on App Store Connect, you can just synchronize all the data that was happening with App Raider. So then the only question that is missing is, does the concept work? Does the concept work from the perspective of really doing um, practical ASO, optimizing your keywords, finding new keywords, um, and also on the other side, helping you to um, make your maintenance time more effective. Uh, at the moment, you only have, let's say 60% um, of the whole ASO process covered with AppRadar, but you definitely uh, will get your return on investment if you haven't done any ASO at all. Let's say uh, you, you pay at the moment for one user, one new Insta, one Euro. So this would mean um, AppRadar has to bring you at least 250 to 500 new users. And if you have an app already out there and you're doing um, Facebook ads and you're doing um, a little bit of optimizing your screenshots, but you don't really have an idea how to optimize your keywords, then you definitely get your return on investment on that. And if they continue iterating, um, then I think they are on a good way for making ASO templates redundant for practicing ASO. And uh, yeah, this has, this has been it. This has been AppRadar from an ASO practitioner's perspective. And I hope you got value out of this video. Um, and I'm looking forward to speak to you again. Keep optimizing, my friends.